Hey guys, how's it going? My name is RGJ Runner and welcome to Jack and Dexter, the Precursor Legacy. Now, I got this a while ago um, on the PlayStation Store for the PS4, but I also got the Jack and Dexter trilogy years ago when it first came out on the PS3 as a HD remaster, and as far as I know, this is just a direct port of the PS2 version to the PS4, so it's not going to look as crisp as its PS3 counterpart, but either way, yeah, it was another game of my childhood, in fact, it was the first game I got on PS2 when I first bought it way back in 2003 for my Holy Communion, would you believe, and I also got Kingdom Hearts along with it, so Jack and Dexter Kingdom Hearts both hold a special place in my heart because they were, again, games of my childhood like other games I have played on this channel, and if you have not seen those games or gameplay videos, look around, they're there somewhere. Either way, enough gibber gabber, let's get into it, press start. Um. Oh, it's a... Uh, touchpad, okay, that's... what? Oh, no. No Jack and Dexter game that on the memory card PS2. Yeah, see, it says PS2 there rather than PS4. So, yeah, it's just a PS4 emulating the uh, Jack and Dexter game. Hmm. Come on, I was hoping for a proper remaster. Maybe someday on the PS5, whenever that will come out. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco. You bad boys, you shouldn't come to this island. It's full of dangerous and spooky things. Spooky things, I tell you. Oh god, I knew it. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Whoa, mother of boobs. Look at those. With anybody who strays from the village, we will attack it in due time. No, you can attack me any day. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. The sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been a real loser. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Go on, throw the thing! Blow him up! Boom! Oh, and you killed Dax in the process. Well done! Oh, never mind, he's back. Man, that stung. And not to the form. You shouldn't have come here, and you listened. What? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Tarnation, do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was. Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, 
The two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there <laughs> before I turn you both into ferns. All right, finally, we got some gameplay going on here. Okay, good for you. I just want to break stuff and smash open boxes. And of course, find some precursor orbs. And if time allows it, platinum this game at some point. But that will be in my own time. Because I did platinum the original trilogy. And I know somebody discovered uh, the debug menu. I'm not sure if, if it's just in Jack 2 and 3 or if that includes all three of the games. Uh, yeah, they discovered a debug menu and they can cheat their way to the Platinum. Nah, don't do that. Don't cheat Platinums, it's not even nearly okay. Yeah, I'll admit, I have glitched. Legitly glitched now. Not hacked, not used some secret menu. I've glitched at the odd trophy here and there if I thought a challenge in a game was too hard. If there were glitches available, of course. But I would not cheat um, at getting a platinum, no way. Nah. -uh. Because I do not want to risk getting banned on PSN. Yes, right now, as it stands, I have about 17 platinums and over. These floating egg shaped things are precursor orbs. Thank you for interrupting me. Good for you. Yeah, I've over 17 platinums and about 1,100 and something trophies altogether. So yeah, I do not want those getting erased. Although I would mind getting them erased. Eh? Ah? Huh? Puns? No. Oh well. Okay, smashy, smashy. Yes, and look, they're just sitting out in the open for me to collect. So easy! Yes, 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 uh, whatever. Smashy, smashy! What? You didn't break apart? I'll teach you to be indestructible. Hiya! There we go. 
Uh, now we have to collect these, um, yeah, collect some power orbs and whatever the hell's in, in here. I believe they are scouts. Is my research right? Hey, you found one of, my scout flies. of course I did, I'm awesome. Ugh, oh, it's such a pain in the ass, I just can't skip the fucking voiceover tutorial parts. Alright, give me this blue goop. Nice, I'm <clears throat> filled with static now. Which would make collecting orbs and health a lot easier. Okay, now we've picked something from speed. Whoa! And there we go, another power orb or whatever the hell is this power cell. And open says me a trophy at long last. I thought I was never gonna get one of those. With blue eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts. Oh you don't say. Alright, that makes for four we've collected. We're not doing too bad on the power cell front. Whoosh, there we go. to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? Get out of here! Alright, you grumpy sack of shit. Fine. I'm leaving. I don't want to hang around with you anyway. This house stinks. Like plants. And of course it's got that distinctive old man smell. So ew. I'm out of here. Hmm, best soft to cure while I'm here. But first just want to search for any more orbages that may be hiding around here, no? Right. Hey Toots, let's talk. Hey baby! What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-Grab Zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> nah, don't do the bestiality. That's, that's ew and disgusting. Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. All right, Sandover Village. Oh, I'm getting such a nostalgia vibe. Because it's been ages since I've played this properly. And it definitely looks a small bit better on the PS4. The colors definitely pop more. And as for the controls, yeah, they're pretty solid. As well as the general platforming, and I hear a scout somewhere. Oh, here we go. There's one, and we have to collect six more. Looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. The scout flies are always in red boxes. Yeah, no shit. All right, now I'm super conductive. Woo. Give me all those health orbs. Almost forgot what to call there for a second. And get me my eggaroos, my precursor eggs. Well, orbs, whatever you want to call them. Get out of here, you dirty snake! All right. Treasure. Oh, you have a brother! Yeah, you'll be seeing each other in the afterlife. Ooh, someone's being generous with the uh, precursor eggs. 
Okay, fine. Just uh, fire one right. Yep. If fire another one of those explosive bags this way, please. Whoa! Easy up there. Ooh, and here's another orb. Oh! Oh no. That pelican just snagged a power cell. Let's go kick some big bird butt. Oh, damn straight we will. Damn fucking straight. Oh, there's another power orb. Jeez, these things are everywhere. And I thought these things were supposed to be valuable. If that's not the best place to be leaving them. If they are so expensive and rare. Out of my way. Oh, oh, ooh. Ow, ow, that did not feel one bit good. Yeah, I bet we can, but first things first, we must punch this pelican in the face. Hoo-yah! Quick! We have to get to the power cell before the pelican scoops it up again! Damn straight we're doing it. I hope Peter isn't watching this, or else I'd be in big twubble. Come on, get it, get it, get it! Yeah, there we go! And the trophy is a nice addition as well. Because if there's one thing I live for in playing my favorite PS3 game, or sorry, my favorite PS2 game, it's the addition of trophies. It just makes it that bit more enjoyable and rewarding once I've eventually completed it, which I definitely will. Speaking of which, I must get the third one as well. I do have Jack 2 Renegade, but I've yet to get around to playing it. And at this stage, my digital PS4 collection is about the same as my uh, Steam collection at the moment. Lots of games that haven't been played. Hey, Gramps, how you doing? Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. Oh, hello, my jolly old chap. How you been? I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old... Precursor orbs. Ninety of them. But I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle ninety precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. All right, here you go. Yeah, chief skate. You two are back to make the trade. I never left. Good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on. I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, tata, bye bye. Yeah, cheerio, tata, my good friend. Mm, see you in the afterlife. Speaking of which, this seems to be Jack's only living relative because Naughty Dog never really went into um, the story behind Jack or his family. Like, I assume he's adopted by Samos or, or something like that. I, I don't know. I'd love for there to be, <clears throat> I'd love for there to be um, another Jack game, uh, a Jack Four. Hopefully, it might be announced at this year's E um, E3, and that will be more as. Uh, Focused around Jack's background. I know it was kind of slightly covered in Jack 2 that um, that this really isn't his home as such. Rather, uh, he was sent from the future back to the past because he was put in danger by uh, Metalhead leader of Core. Yeah, no, very weird and short description, but that's all I remember at this point. Oh no, animal abuse! Come on, get in there! Yeah. Right, that's two. I think there's another one, two, three to get in. So that makes five. 
This one should be easy enough. Whoop Come on, get in. No, the other way. Good, Moo Moo Cow. Yeah, go on. Move. Get in there, Bessie. Go on, Bessie, go on. Move. Yeah. All right, just one more, and this farmer dude will owe us a power cell. Even though he didn't really ask us to do this in the first place. Fun. Fun. Move. Move. No, not that way. In there. Yeah. No, 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 no. Fucking punching the balls. Yeah. What? That lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. Alrighty then, let's go extort his power cell. Ah, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. You were already sleeping, you crazy old coot. Alright, that makes 13. This must be a precursor oracle like the sage always goes on about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. Oh, you're one to talk. Who awakens the oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Whoa, those are some extortionate prices right there. I don't even have 120 power cells on me, do I? Uh, how do I check my stats, my thing with jigs? I don't see how many I have on me. Oh, it says it right here. I have 97 and I've collected 187 out of 2000. Is that 2000 in game or 2000 in send over village? Oh, that's uh, 2,000 in-game, right, okay, that's 2,000 altogether. Alright, there we go. Anyway, I just wanted to showcase this game and say how great it was, at least in my opinion, and how it is the most favourite game of my childhood, again, because it was the first game I got with my PS2 along with Kingdom Hearts. And I played the absolute shit out of it. And you know what? The action replay uh, cheats disc really helped out a lot when I was stuck in this game. Because when I was younger, I was really impatient. I did not have um, the patience to to play a game without using some cheats of some form. But at least with the PS3 and PS4, that has been cut out. Well, ex except for the likes of uh, Grand Theft Auto. But those are only fun cheats you can use and they don't affect the trophies. But, yeah. Right now you can pick it up on the PSN store, I think it's only about 15 euro, but don't quote me on that. But still, I'd recommend that you pick up the entire trilogy, that, well that includes Jack X, so it will be a quadrilogy, whenever it comes down in price again, because they are pretty damn decent games, pretty solid all around, and they still hold up to this day. Either way guys, you know what to do, if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment right here, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. So on to the next time. See ya.